Oh, no, no, that's my testing. I should close that. Oh, I, don't have a, I don't know why I have another ulcer in my mouth. Ah, this one is actually very painful whenever I try to talk a lot. So, this is gonna be fun for you and me. Oh my god, why is it so loud? <laughs> so, this few weeks again, <laughs> I learned SQL. Um, in this SQL is only 10 to, it's actually covered within one week. But, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> so, we're doing SQL data integrity plus sub queries operation and other join method right, let me take a sip of water because oh boy that was a mouthful okay it's been a few weeks since i also last touched sql so i'm gonna be very rusty but fuck it this can be either a 30 minute adventure or a 2 hour hellscape of me bashing my head on not knowing what is going on so this is SQL as you may notice <laughs> and this um, in here we're gonna start doing um, data in integrity first so uh, I should probably explain uh, what we have in data integrity right um, oh god okay so let me close the notepad, not notepad, the paint. All right. So first thing first, do we have a table called purchase? Show. Let's see if I remember any command. Show all from uh, purchase. Run. We do not have it. Okay, good. So. Is it invalid SQL table or that SQL does not exist? I think my my thing is correct. <laughs> it's not show, it's select. Oh, I, immediately you already can tell I'm going to be great at this. Uh, I was see, thinking of another thing that have show on it. Okay, so. Purchase doesn't work, which is good. Uh, I'm going to follow the slide. So the first way to ensure a data integrity is to have constraint basically you need certain constraints so that your sql certain like attribute uh, are not going to get fucked up okay so let's create a table called purchase okay in that table we have a product name um, with a what I call a characteristic of vacha that means you can put in string two of 25 length okay and here you cannot put now so this is one of the data in integrity is not now you can have another one so you have product price uh, this time you want to put number obviously of range four with two decimal again you can't put any now so purchase you can have a last one called purchase date uh, and you know what this one is the date format and we can live without we can live with a noun so we can run this it's gonna work should what missing right parenthesis of what <laughs> hold on I'm looking at the same thing. I don't need a single column here. It's not even this line. Missing right parenthesis? Of what? Oh, it's Vercha. Ah, Vercha. Ah, it, it's, like even, it's, it's like even a different color. How did I not notice that? Oh, I'm going to be great at this. This is actually going to be a two hour he hellscape. So, with this, we can then select the table sorry so why is i say select oh no no you, you, okay select table name this uh attribute uh no, no this this is the what the fucking call 
Why can't you select table? No, it's just this is just a name. This uh, this is just a name for the the heading name. So then we are on constraint um name constraint type from all constraint. I think this is a a thing you can just where table where table name is equal purchase. Okay, so this is a very roundabout way, but does this work even? It does. So I guess in Oracle or Apex, uh, at least there is already a default table call constraint or all constraint table, where it actually showcases the constraint name and type. So you can see the table have a for the this table have. What you call uh, a constraint uh, with a system default setting? This one is just auto generated, so it doesn't matter. But we mostly care about the constraint type, which is C, which is just one of the type that is represent not now, I believe. Finger crossed. So yeah, that's the you can in you can replace this with any other table. So I think there's a table called higher, if I remember correctly. Uh, and you can see whether there's any constraint there is. So you can see higher have three constraint. Um, one of them is a PK, mm, which is also what I'm gonna explain later on. And two of these are is actually a foreign key. So I guess we can move on to that first. So obviously data integrity, uh, primary key and foreign key is also another big thing to make sure that oh your table is actually your relation is actually well connected so to make a, a, a primary key as a constraint um, even though you, I, I'm thinking like no it does it does does it how does it link no no, no. when you join cable it only you can only join if the thing is uh, probably a, for, uh, a primary key and ne have I not tested if uh, when I join the table there is not a primary key? I probably never. Huh. So we're going to create a new table. Uh, I'm going to follow the slide again. It's called location demo. So in location demo, uh, we're going to have a location ID. Uh, also location is a function. With number 4. So it can hold a number up to four digit. Uh, that number will also have a constraint, and you actually have to type out constraint. Constraint, where the location is just a variable name. So you can actually name this anything that you want, but you just want to show that when it refer down here in the constraint, you will actually say out what variable you put. So I want to say okay location ID is uh, one of the attribute and I want to make it so that this is the PK so you put a uh, constraint name and what's the constraint is the primary key right and after, if you create the table you should do the the show constraint or constraint yeah, this will appear as location ID PK like that uh, you can also obviously you will have other attributes so it's like straight address uh, where you have watch like spelled correctly two in fact uh, 40 yeah postal code uh, vacha to shelf you have other stuff like uh, city state province country the other is is the same so we're gonna just gonna create this with three attribute. But oh, what did I do wrong this time? Constraint, look ID, primary key. Uh, I don't see any issue. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Did I spell constraint wrong? C O N S T R A I N T. Yeah? 
which is a primary key. Uh, the other one is just a Vacha 240, Vacha 212, number 4. Why the hell is wrong then? <laughs> Where the hell is wrong then? Am I dumb? Line 9 slash 27 Invalid identifier I'm not sure what the fuck does that even mean Also I got a message I need to check this message real quick But what the fuck is a <laughs> What the fuck is it? Okay I'm gonna just try to copy Exactly word to word So they put the bracket In this way in fact, they tap out this bracket. This is actually putting in. This for some reason is tap out. Don't tell me I actually have to put in other. What is going on? If I put in other, I swear. If I put in other and it works, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap. <laughs> I'm gonna snap. <laughs> Svacha 2 25 Not this 30 So the city name Then you have uh, Okay I don't know why some is Indented in Svacha 2 uh, Oh I, prob I know why I put a combo here, didn't I? I put a combo there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, because I saw the example put a combo and then there's obviously other attributes, so I just put a combo instinct in instinctively. Oh my god, okay. Well, so I'm not dumb. No, I am very dumb, but uh, yeah. at least I didn't type it wrongly. Even though I did type. Okay, why? <laughs> Select! Yeah, this is gonna two hour adventure, boys. <laughs> you gonna this is gonna this is gonna be both hell. I meant to actually cover another topic that actually what I learned this week, but if I if I actually spend two hour here, um, I probably won't save this week as next week. So I probably com uh combine two weeks because from next week onward after this, this is a final SQL actually. Will you believe it? This actually the final topic on SQL we're still going to use it for my final exam but and my assignment but uh, it's weird that that's all I'm going to learn about SQL so better do this properly okay let's see did I tell, uh, type the name wrong or not okay you can see here constraint is application ID uh, constraint type P when I highlight does OBS capture or oh, doesn't capture so I have it so that whenever I highlight there's an AI prompt uh, immediately pop out so I think there's a, a setting in the um, Opera GX should probably turn it off it's kind of annoying actually okay so we have primary key obviously we have foreign key now foreign key um, create another table I wish I can copy and paste instead of manually typing but I guess manually typing make me learn better and learn my mistake smarter so let's make another table called employee or dep 20 with the attribute of employee ID and uh, number uh, four we have a uh, last name with Vacha this I do not know why the example here have so many weird intentions because it, you know what it showed me this last name has an indented of Vacha like this like it's not even a line like it makes sense if I indent and make it a line no it, it go one more further I'm like what? Oh. I don't know maybe I'm just maybe there's actually a reason and just making fun for no for being a for, for being a dumbass And if I can type properly, uh, this won't probably take 10 years. 
Okay, date. Okay, then you have your salary. Uh, which is a uh, number of seven with two decimal location. Oh, guess what? Location ID. Okay, and with location ID, uh, remember location ID? Yeah, this is the same location ID we created earlier, and we want to actually have the same, uh data of location ID in the location demo table so we're going to put this as a constraint with uh, this also a variable name so you can put FK uh, location number I don't know why it's called location number but that is what is this and you actually have to type in another keyword called reference or uh, reference apparently uh, locations, uh, the table name basically, the location demo, and the attribute, which is location uh, ID. So, as, even though here is already set location ID and here is location ID, you actually have to do this because you can put this into a different name, like you can put this into a location number, but you still want to reference it as location uh, from location demo of location ID. And Reference is basically how you say this is a prime uh, foreign key. So in constraint, you have like you put a uh, primary key, you put constraint, the variable name, and follow up with primary key, primary key. But this one you don't say foreign key, you say reference of what, which is a bit weird. But I guess that's that. What's your issue now? Or is it I actually have to put this the same? You have to put this the same? Okay, so. What's the issue here? So I create table. Employee ID. Last name. What's... What? Missing or invalid option? Am I stupid again? Invalid option of what? Number 4 Vacha 210 Number 4 Date Number 72 Location uh, ID Constraint They put this in the Different Tab Does that matter? Oh wait Why is that? Why is that? Why is there two bracket? Did I type that two bracket? I You're gonna see like all the bad mistake. You're gonna learn from me by seeing all the bad example. I'm showcasing every single thing you can do wrong in an SQL. <laughs> like every single mistake. It's actually kinda impressive, not gonna lie. How I can do this bad. But the best uh teacher is from your mistake as they say in Korea for some reason. Okay. Um where table name I should probably just copy and paste and just you know so that twenty I'm gonna copy all of this paste. Okay so dish Did I spell constraint name wrong? God damn it. Con. No, it doesn't matter whether constraint name wrong. What? No, it does matter. What am I talking about? Constraint with an N. I'm missing an N. Okay, so okay, see? Your FK name is there and your constraint type is R. Perfect. Uh, R basically means foreign key. There's probably there's more. Obviously, there's more of this kind of a uh, data integrity uh, keyword, but we're only gonna learn until here. Not here. There's more, but learn the basic few. So there may there's probably another one that's constraint type F. That's why they probably didn't. No, they put R because we use reference. Even though we ourselves say is primary a uh, foreign key. 
They probably put R because we use the keyword reference instead of foreign key. That's probably more more of a reason. So this is another one. So I'm just gonna create a table while explaining what this is. So there's another one called unique. Now this unique is a uh, not the same unique as we do in like um uh, what's the thing called like in RDM. Is it RDM? R E D. What's it called? Ah. Uh, RDM right relationship data model and then ERD is a entity relationship diagram okay so in RDM uh, you call your primary key uh, unique and not now basically they will not repeat okay but this unique is different is that you will not have multiple of the same value uh, but it does allow now for some reason so if you want a real unique you need to put unique and not now that's why i believe so we have for example we have a promo id that is, can contain six number with a constraint uh promo id u uh, that is unique okay so uh, there's also a lot of other attributes, but we're just gonna do like this. We're gonna create a table, very simple table, uh, <laughs> with one attribute. But we're gonna see promotion. Oh yeah, I <laughs> copy when it's wrong. Okay. What? Is my promotion wrong? Pro mo motion. Pro motion. Am I stupid again? Why is it not there? I have to put in full all capital. Oh, for fuck's sake, I thought I copied. Copy. Oh, huh, I do need a full, full capital because it's in the quotes. Of course, it's gonna be full capital. Huh. So, anyways, you can see uh, the constraint type is U with the variable name there. And I think we have one last data integrity. Uh, this one is a bit harder to explain. This one, you create a, your own data, sorry, your own constraint type uh, using check. So we're going to create a table called division, if I know how to spell it correctly. And in that division, you have your divider div number, which is a number. They did not specify. I assume that's fine. I don't think it's fine actually, but I'm gonna follow it for now. But you can do a uh, constraint variable name. So even though I say check that, it's actually just a variable name because the actual thing is called check afterward. And then in the check, you actually put another bracket and what's the condition of the check? So you want the div number uh, gonna be between. 10 and uh, 99 okay you can have another uh, attribute bacha to 10 with a constraint um, the name which is going to be say check office of check div sorry not div uh, office and this one you can even set like condition uh, this is basically set a condition of the attribute like id like uh, domain right so office in so you in is a is another function that you can say that oh you must it must contain 
everything in within the bracket that you is gonna specify. Which I want Dallas, um, Boston. Do not know why they put the example is the. Country all around the world, but I deal with it. So, then that's it. Then you have you create this table. Okay, then you will go check the constraint type of the vision. No, the visions is spelled correctly. And here you can check the constraint type is type C of check where you created and the constraint name is obviously the same thing so what is constraint name and constraint type that's a very good question i think if you go inside the table uh, you can see uh is it in describe i think if you say describe um Division is it like this? Uh huh. Okay, so it does show. No, it does not show. It show all over. So here, this uh, describe it also will say whether it's a primary key. No, it doesn't show. How do I search it? I'm sure that you probably need to go out and find the table uh, on the search function but We are moving on! I'm not gonna spend 10 years here I already spent 20 minutes Just explaining the basic Okay, so Go do some exercise This is where you actually meant where, you, where I'm meant to do Exercise First, we're gonna copy the RR script So uh, I'm gonna go find the RR script first, so BRB. So this is the R script and here you can see uh, all the scripts. So you wanna create one, two, three, four table, right? Four table. Uh, as you can see they have many constraints like primary key. They never say constraint. They actually never say constraint. So you can probably not say constraint. Here you say constraint for some reason. Is it constraint without? I think here say constraint because you have nothing to reference by. Because here you say it's set a primary key, but here you want the primary key of higher. Okay, this is actually really confusing. Why? Why? Why this is that? Okay. Well. Anyways, uh, the exercise I actually told me to do. What the fuck the exercise told me to do? Copy the this and call it, or copy this and call it RR constraint, which is fine. I'm gonna learn how to spell constraint by the end of the day. Okay, in the RR constraint, modify the script to only accept the title of Mr., Doctor, and Miss. So, which is all of them. <laughs> which is all of them but sure at least I guess we can manually make it so so as you can see it insert a value and those are insert a customer of value and this is in RR customer so it's up here and the title is the one that ha have the title so you actually want to put constraint here how the fuck do you spell constraint? constraint uh, let me think before looking back the slide. So I want, they want to only accept this. So it want check something check. Okay, constraint title check. So this is a variable name. Type check. Uh, bracket and what you want check where title in and in will be in mister uh miss 
and doctor okay that should be good there should another constraint that's called a month charge between 45 and 200 so where's money charge I assume it oh it's here this is the only month charge right yeah month charge uh, so they want it to be between 45 and 200 so constraint this one is just another check right just yeah, another check it's just constraint month char I think it's just gonna put everything variable name with a check behind it check uh, the own attribute name which is month charge in no sorry between 45 and 200 okay so I think that's it so there's the two constraints we need to add in and we're gonna run the script so let's see how this goes uh, this is not good <laughs> so everything was good until here um if violated SQL something <laughs> um I do not know what the fuck I did apparently I probably did something wrong so I mean it what you call it, it created the table that's one thing but I don't understand all the value you say you cannot insert it so let me check let me check wait let me check the, the table whether they have the, the entry or not so if we say select all from what are uh, uh, customer is customers uh, no, 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 no 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 it's called ah uh, uh, what's the table called Customers. What does the table call? Now I go. I know one higher. No data found. Yeah. None of the value can be inserted. Um. Well, back to the script. I goes. Uh. <laughs> something must have been very wrong. So what is actually? wrong with how i do let me re-look at the thing so they do uh, a constraint name check the the same name money charge between x and y that's correct for me so this is correct Oh, so I see I, I, insert, I put the wrong thing. I meant to check model. Never mind. Ah, constraint. No, because there's no data because no one was inserted. It's, this thing was wrong. So let's see why is this wrong. It check the title. Let's spell constraint wrong, right? Constraint. Hmm. Ah, I used in is it because char require specific no oh I'm an idiot this is tricky that is actually tricky remember every time they are in single quote always match exactly the value okay there we go now you see here all has been inserted this is how you meant to be right so what else i meant to do so after i created this table i need to go to sql prompt and insert another tool manually so i'm gonna go back there and uh, with this we gonna insert what i'm gonna insert we need to insert Do we put insert two? Insert two. 
a a customer value 107 I'm gonna put miss miss what the fuck is this miss I'm very bad with it's called pronoun right I'm very bad at this title ref pronoun I have no idea how, how to pronounce that Bill Clinton some reason and another value insert two I still think it's two right two our customer value um, 108 Dr. VDR Oh, because this is oh. So annoying uh, Kai Clay The name doesn't matter I guess Clayton Smith So There's gonna be an arrow on the first line, right? Missing into my brain was like there has to be another keyword that the answer is into not to. Missing select keyword. What is into right? Or is it or is it values? One by one, I'm dying. Is this this, this right? I'm just saying missing keyword. <laughs> missing what keyword? <laughs> I'm not sure whether this is because this is wrong, or because the value. Uh, or I actually doing an, uh, something else wrong. Let me look at the how the data put it in. This. No. I get a problem. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, because this is this is a uh, this is a uh, what am I trying to say? This is a this is a command. It go once by oh, I do not want to save. I want to copy. This is a command. It run bound by one. There we go. It violated title check. Oh, okay. Insert into our customer value. Bleh. So this violated the thing because we have the constraint check type. Okay. Then we have to test out the other one. So this one is should be correct. And it did insert, which is correct. So as you can see, the R check does work. And let's put in another value because we have two constraint we make earlier. So this this checking the first constraint, second constraint is insert into um uh, what is it called model values with the S obviously E thirteen. I don't know why I always need to copy this word to word, but I'm doing it. Samsung. Silver DVD player. The script, the, uh, the the example did not put a comma here. <laughs> the the exactly a mistake in there. They didn't put a comma there. Okay. Boom! It works because. Our constraint is between 45 and 200 So now let's say we want to put uh, another value in Which is uh, a gold DVD player for some fucking reason With 289 as the monthly charge And as you can see it violated the month charge check um, That's it <laughs> that, That's it So there's another exercise when, uh, of our constraint uh, where we actually have to figure out how 
sorry let me just put it up first so this one is a script that's purposely supposed to have a mistake like a error so i'm going to run this and we're going to see what the error is then we're meant to our task is to find the error and fix it so yeah so let's see we have immediately in here we have a unique constraint we have a null constraint violated and unique unique mostly i'm probably seeing a lot of unique and that's that's all the entry we have we have no actually no no this previous row what the fuck happened here drop table the table did, uh, this one did not work because the table this is the first time we ever created Arrow and line this name is already used by existing object. I think that is the arrow because there's another table that's there's another table that's dab. But we did drop it, so there's no table called dab. Arrow and line one fourteen name is already used by existing object. So this is another value I cannot insert because. And this one is another constraint insert value. Okay, let's go back and check. So, apparently, uh, okay, let's just run again. Oh, wait, 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 just let me run again. I, my brain was fried earlier. Something about that is wrong. So, I think it's because of this. I think it's because of this because this is made before the the it's trying to reference uh, a, a primary key that have yet to exist so this is actually need to be below this okay um, and then a lot of value in this section are now which is what was that so EMP so um, the what you call the ID the number is should be unique don't the fuck the fuck what's what why, 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 why so why so random why so random okay so we're just gonna assume we make this into six um, why is your name now? It's not that we need to fix this to let them put now. It's that why is your name now? 7654. And why you place. No, no, no. It is in ascending order. Okay. Why your name now? What's a name I can put in? Your name is now. You know what? Your name is now. Okay, you know, that works. Um, job Vacha. Um, apparently, job is also a, a type. And they are clerk, salesman, salesman, manager, salesman, manager, analyst, president, salesman, clerk, clerk, analyst, clerk, clerk. And manager can be now so this is fine salary also let me check right so that's so this one i changed to three something so let's see one that is don't have so it's like nine something so nine two exists seven six nine eight exists so is this exists seven eight three nine is this sound this is this sound eight uh three nice all the same it's managed by or manager uh, it's the same manager so that's why there's a lot of repeat seven five six six now sound six nine eight which yep seven seven eight eight also seven five six six seven seven eight two Oh, is this okay so this doesn't matter what I changed into the date I don't see any particularly wrong with it 
right off the bat um, I assume this salary so 800 5,000 damn a clerk only 800 damn I'm just gonna you know, I'm just gonna give him a, a, a slight raise <laughs> calm I assume is I have no idea what this calm uh, but it can be now so that's fine Debt number uh, is 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 But it's a foreign key reference to the debt number in up here Which makes no sense The value The value of all this should be entered here Actually no 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 it's fine. No it's fine to no no it's fine to have number here. No no I'm I'm, I'm dumb. This one you just need to make sure that the uh, it both exists. Because fifty here fifty here is fuck. What? There's no there's no fifty. You you cannot make a primary key without fifty. Insert into that values fifty and it's like the job, I assume it's just a department number. So we have an accounting, research, sales, operation, and then you have to straight up your president. No. It's not, this is not 50. President is 10. It works in different departments. This salesman need to be belonging to someone else's department. I thought this 50 is the president, so I thought maybe it needs to be separate, but no. This salesman belong to is all salesman 30, 30, 30, 30. Yeah, 30. Get get back into your fucking place. <laughs> um what's this debt debt number is correct? Uh com. I have no idea what com, so I assume com is fine. I don't see any issue with com. There's supposed to be decimal place for com, but uh, I have no idea. This guy has zero. Which is not out of range, but... You have the weirdest number ever. <laughs> but... Might as well be now then. <laughs> might as well be now. Or is it now not working? Maybe there's a reason to be zero. I have no idea what's the implication, so I'm going to say zero for now. Okay, now fix the depth. Depth, uh, primary key... Department number and location cannot be now. So department number and location cannot be now. So where the fuck does accountant go? Uh, the accountant will go to. Uh, they used Tokyo earlier, so I'm gonna put in to Tokyo. Um, that's, that's low key racist because I assume Asian is very good with math, but <laughs> I'm Asian. I'll get a pass on that. Um, I think that's fine. I think that's all. That's all fine. Okay, I think I fixed it. Okay, hopefully. There's still this error. I do not know why there's this error. Employee? I think all fixed for employee. So, yeah, all of them are inserted. That does not exist because some reason why unique constraint hold on hold on that show says mm, all of them are nearly say unique constraint unique constraint okay go back let's go back edit okay what the fuck is wrong with you that number primary key okay Watch out for T, not now. Where does Unique even came from? <laughs> I just realized where the fuck did Unique came from? I don't see any issue here. Like all the value is correct, so I this is correct. <laughs> 
What if I okay? I'm gonna do it how I've been taught to. So constraint, depth, number, PK, as the primary key. Not now. You can just say not now and not now. So I'm gonna run it again. There's something wrong with this. Is there another? Is there another table call? Select all from that. So it does have it. Wait, it does have it. Then what's the error? Drop table. What? Oh, fuck. What's what's the comment for it? Drop table, I assume just drop table depth. Unique primary key in table reference by foreign key. So I cannot drop it because it, I cannot drop it because is is reference. Ah and I cannot create it because it's already It's already I know the issue I know how to fix it We just drop M first So then you have nothing to You don't You have nothing to reference Then you can drop depth Then you can create it properly Okay Good news It works Bad news What? What the fuck is all this? Integrity constraint Primary key not found. Primary key not found. Primary key not found. Okay, let's remove this. Okay, maybe that's an issue. Primary key not found. It's the same. Depth number two and number two. Reference depth of depth number. Foreign key name. I mean, I just put it foreign key. I'm not sure why it's in bracket. Just say foreign key. FK. And the value is all the same, right? You have 10, 20, 30, 40 as your primary key. So 30, 30, 30, 20, 30, 30, 10, 10, 20, 10, 30, 20, 30, 20, 30, 20, 30, 20 10, 10. Right? Okay. Missing left parenthesis. What fucking parenthesis? Leaving be missing left parenthesis. What is it? This. This parenthesis go to here. This parenthesis go to here. It's fine. Unless you're telling me there's a parenthesis missing in here. No, it's fine. <laughs> it was working before. That's the thing, it was working before. I don't understand why is it not working now. Okay, let me run this again. What the actual fuck? Okay, so <laughs> I I I try everything. I'm like, why couldn't it work? I just don't understand. And then I decide to you know let's go to the command and see whether the at least the table is any is anything in the table. So I go select all from uh at first I put in depth to make sure the depth is correct and in fact depth is correct. You can see here you got everything with the correct location everything so then i thought okay so it must be m because obviously m is the one that have the issue so m have used to be no no what you call it no entry so i'm like okay so how about i just copy i literally copy the first line of the script of this run it 
and instantly okay it's already already have it um and it works i'm like what so i'm gonna do it again what that's i'm i just don't get it why this work see they actually have entries but but here it doesn't fucking run I'm gonna copy the first two line and paste it and you're gonna see no changes in fact I'm gonna pop it above it do you see any changes uh, this is actually a horrible idea I'm just gonna copy the first line so I just copy this do you see any changes actually there is they look different why does it look different oh because I indented don't tell me I swear if I swear, I swear, I fucking swear. Uh, there is a. There are ways to just. No, you can't. Can't. Minus indent a single thing. I fucking swear, if this fucking is the issue, I'm gonna murder someone. Okay, so now if I copy paste exactly as I take a 736 site Smith Clerk 7902 13 date Okay, remove this It works when I go use the command But it doesn't It doesn't work in here I just Wah I don't get it. I try asking ChatGPT, and ChatGPT say that oh, you just need to get good. <laughs> I'm like, what? What the fuck you all about? I I I really have no idea why this one works because again, if I go to the command. it fucking works. In fact, I'm going to do it for everything. I'm going to manually do it for everything. Which is tedious. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it for everything. But I'm, it just did just show that it actually work. God, I keep pressing the wrong button. Like you can see, multiple of them. It just works. It just works. The one that is wrong is this one because this one have now. Yep. So I'm gonna make now as his name and it should work. I don't get it. The president works because uh, even though this is now and this is now it doesn't violate anything. This guy have 50 so I change him to 30 because he's a salesman and that works and if I just see it all now You see the entry is all there. I, I actually don't get it. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. I quit. I quit SQL. It's oh, I don't get it. Oh, I actually don't get it. Why? Why? why what's the issue there? It's already been an hour. Like you guys are seeing the short version because every time I load the script, it take a while. So I always pause it. And in between uh, take, I also try to think like, oh, how how was the solution? Oh my god! It's, uh, it's actually gonna be a two-hour fucking adventure. I want to stop here so much, but I'm gonna carry forward. So this is a mystery. If I'm gonna put a bounty, whoever can solve this issue, I'm gonna give them a hard pin. Okay. <laughs> In the comment, if you know the fucking solution, I'm gonna give you a, a very nice heart pin and a like. And a thank you message. <laughs> because this is dumb and ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, just. Ne <sighs> I'm meant to discuss an, uh, a way harder topic now. Fuck's sake. Self curry, so. Subcuries is a 
condition where there is no condition. In fact, no, there is a condition. <laughs> There is no collision. You know how every time we join two table, we have to put where table A, comma table B. Uh, I mean, some sorry, from table A, comma table B, where table A attribute equal to table B attribute. That's the join condition normally. Now, we are using sub-query to eliminate uh, join condition. Actually, a lot of this uh, sub-query uh, set operation in other join is to somewhat eliminate uh, the usage of join. So, sub-query is basically just nested query and like I said, it removed the, the additional where condition. So we gonna do uh, first of all, let's select. So I'm gonna show you uh, how you we normally do it. So we have a uh, select this thing. Uh, Select this thing. Why is it this thing? No, this thing is a keyword. This thing. Okay. I don't know why. What is this thing? But I'm just gonna follow the slide. Customer number. Sorry. Or see the customer number because we want to um, refer itself actually. So we put a name in front. Um, from. Ah. Uh, uh. Actually no. That's the alias. Which. Could be referring itself, but we have alias of C of our customer and higher of H, uh, where C dot customer number is equal to H dot customer number alias, not alias. <laughs> okay, so alias, alias. So that's that. So if we run this, it should display um, basically any any um, customer uh, that has been made at least one higher so if the if the customer has hired anyone it will reappear in the higher okay so that's that and this is how you're meant to do it normally with the join condition now I'm gonna do it with without the join condition and with the sub query way so we select all in fact we select everything because we the way we're going to do it is that we can allow to select all without worrying so we select all from one table only the main table where you want to display where a uh, customer number now this is where it came in. In this is an important one. In you're gonna put in a bracket. Uh, select uh, customer number, and you might notice a pattern from higher. This is another. Just show you another query here <laughs> inside the query. It's in. So, how it does is that you have different layers. This is layer 2 and this is layer like the first layer and this is a deeper layer, layer 2. You will go into the deepest layer and execute it first. Okay? So, you will do this command. So, we just by default, let's say by default, we just do select customer uh, number from higher. So, this is what we do. And it will list out everything in higher of the customer number. As you can see, 105, 101, got 3 times 103. And now we do this where customer number in the thing. So basically, customer number is equal to any of this number. Okay? That's what the in function does. 
and we select everything from our customer that have the same customer number listed here so if we run like this it will display customer number um, the title and the name because we select all and that is sub query um, that's about it <laughs> uh, you can have multiple sub query uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna copy and paste um, or just write and paste uh, what's here so you have you can have two different uh, sub query combining with the joint condition so here we put a where and then you select customer number in the sub query you can also um, have a where condition so that okay I want the customer to have the title of mister okay then you can also have combine it where the stock number is have a different sub query that contain uh, that took from a stock number of a different table called uh, appliance uh, where the condition so you have another condition I don't know why I say condition 1 equal to E I don't know why is it like this <laughs> uh, then you also have order by so just to uh, order by uh, order by <laughs> so you have order by start number stock number uh, date hired so you run this missing impression for what <laughs> what oh sorry it's in I forgot the in how did I forgot this No data found. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Lovely. I think this is wrong. Condition. It's not I didn't find it called a condition. There's actually like I didn't find it called a condition. I don't know data. Select all from appliance. It is called condition one. And A there is E. Okay, so that's correct. Hmm, stock number is select stock number appliance. I don't see an issue here. <laughs> Either I'm stupid or I don't see a, a, any issue here. Let's do it one by one. Oh, why do I always do this? <laughs> there we go. Here it is. Why do I always do that? Okay, so that's that's how you use two sub query with a with an end condition to combine two. <laughs> and then we have another type called um, a nested query of another nested query where you have a nested of a nested. So. I'm gonna do one example, that's three examples. I'm gonna do one of them. So select if I know how to spell select, select from higher where that stock number in select stock number from appliance where model number is in uh, sorry this model is model number in and you have another sub query in here should probably make this this should make sense if you know the first step you the second step shouldn't be that insane and we even have a, a like wildcard condition uh, like video we run this it be one entry which is correct and that's that okay so that is <sighs> sub -curry. I'm so tired <laughs> I'm actually so tired okay moving on to union I actually want to I'm gonna take a break I, I, I'm actually gonna take a break I'm gonna come back in like 
30 minutes then only continue so you're not gonna see anything because it's gonna jump cut like right now there's probably one of you out there that actually know the thing happening and was screaming yelling absolutely puking because of a uh, of a very obvious thing so fucking obvious so as you can see it inserted it actually managed to insert so what actually did it well it's because the depth value was not assigned at the start i assigned the m value but it used to be like this also i took like a, a, a like a two hour nap and then i have a lecture of another two hour and then i play some tft then i'm like oh yeah i meant to record the uh, uh, this way i learned i'm like okay come back and then uh, i play tft with my other friend uh, that's always doing uh, supposedly to be always smarter than me uh, even though i fix this myself i take my own credit and my own stupidity anyways so this is how it meant to uh is it where i left off and of course this doesn't work now in hindsight no shit this doesn't work <laughs> because the foreign key was referencing the depth number of a uh, depth but it did not exist so it did not register that oh, all this doesn't work so all i have to do is literally just put it the fuck it went put it up here and as you can see this worked perfectly fine like this uh, so back to what we actually meant to do so uh, yeah so back to uh, this shit so remember this is a uh, sub -query. Uh, in fact two sub -query in, in each other so that's mostly on sub -query. another thing we need to know uh, is set operator so set operator is basically imagine you have a Venn diagram of a table intersect each other okay because you have some attribute in table a and table b are intersectable so we can utilize that logic into sql with uh well at least we use these three method uh three set operator keyword call union uh intersect that's not how to intersect in how to intersect intersect and uh, minus Okay, so obviously union, stop trying to save the fucking program, <laughs> keep pressing uh, control sh S, okay, instead of trying to trade control A and minus, delete, okay, so, union, union is pretty obvious, okay, so, union is trying to combine both table while showing both table, so you can say customer, you can say customer. So this is how you do without union. So we have customer num, uh, customer name uh, from, do I have this? Do I have this table? Where rep number is equal to 65. Do I have this actually? Why is my mouse cursor sometimes not working? Oh, I do have it. Okay, so. So this is uh, from. Hey. Oh no 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 this. So this okay. I'm gonna show you an example. So this one table, where uh, you have this customer with a rep number of sixty five. I think my mouse is. It's either it's something is either lagging. Or it's just. No, it's it's lagging. It's not my mouse. Now it's actually lagging for some reason. SQL actually making you need to use the keyword union then you can put in a second uh, second command or second table so this table will have the same uh, keyword which is customer name but uh, it's also going to take from orders so orders where uh customer dot customer number is equal to orders dot customer number so with this i do not know why it's lagging it's annoying i'm gonna wrap this up quick then and there you go you can see there's multiple uh 
uh, result shown. Okay, so then we have that is a union. So you combine both table A and table B of what you want to show. Then you have another one called intersect, where for example we want to list the number we want to list the number and name of customer who has been made order and are represented by sales rep sixty five. So this one is uh, either you, the customer have rep name sixty five or the customer has made an uh, order. But this one intersect means they need to be rep number sixty five and uh, made an order. So we just replace this with in the sec. This is so annoying. Okay. I'm not sure it display on OBS or not. Oh my god, it's my like entire laptop. Oh my OB oh it is I can see something on my mouse jump. Oh I do not know why. Okay, so I'm gonna restart my PC after this. So then we have another one called minus. So minus uh is A minus B. So we do this, that means we want to show 65 uh, a customer who does 65 but don't make any order. And minus is obviously like how normal operator does is that it's very conditional uh, of where the placement of minus is. So if you minus bef uh, minus the 65 as the up after later part, it show a different result, obviously. So that is a um, set operator. Very quick, very easy. Next, we have a thing called inner uh, other joints. So, what we do is inner join. Uh, no, there's one called inner join, um, which is very confusing. I'm not quite sure uh, what it means. A join that compare the table in the from clause at least only row that satisfy condition in the where clause is called an inner join. So, from what I understand, it's probably just a another way to say where okay if you see another way to say where so this is how you're meant to do i think this is the same one as before hold on so i have customer from customer name uh from customer order customer and i want to show uh order number and order date from customer and order and customer number equal to customer num uh, order dot customer number and we're just gonna order by to make it organized customer dot uh, customer number if we run this um, it should show this kind of table okay and you can replicate replicate this by changing it without using the where clause to say where I remove basically remove this so you want to showcase the same thing from customer and inner join order okay on customer this is the rest of the same customer number equal to orders dot customer number order by customer dot customer number so it's show the same thing so that's what inner join is i think it's literally just the same the same as where clause but where the uh, the unique part of our uh, another other join is that there's a thing called outer join and there's the left outer join and the right outer join so select uh, uh customer dot cast number uh their title their name uh, their stock number uh their date hired from uh, uh customer okay left outer join Remember, all of these are trying to join multiple table together. Higher, this is a table name on our uh, uh, customer dot cast uh, underscore number equal to higher dot cast underscore 
So this because we're not using sub query, you actually have to use like uh, the name of one table is equal to the name of another table. Uh, this one will showcase. So imagine. I think they run it. Dead heated. <laughs> okay. Very good at words. There we go. Imagine. Um, okay, so this one. Okay, the query of this is that produce a customer report about the customer hire. Include those who have not made any hire. That means even if it did not have both condition met like the customer have both condition met it will still showcase them uh, but it's just empty so date hire that means they they need to be hired there so they must have a date hire figure all this if we do not have left up after outer joint and we use the normal wear condition it means that all of this figure will not exist okay but because we use left outer join even those entry that did not fulfill the condition will still be shown but it's only for the the table um on the whatchamacallit also someone messaged me what oh my god i can't st I can't pause the recording. Okay. Successfully reply my friend. Uh, and we reply back. And you're gonna you're gonna hear another notification. Da -dang. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god. It's so horrible. My mouse. It's like fucking OBS definitely fucked something up. Okay. So the. Um, I think I already explained what left joint condition, right? So it show everything, uh, on the, on the on the left side of the table, which I believe is our customer. Yeah, customer is the left table and higher, which is the right table. Then you can do the opposite, um, where you select, uh, the number, uh, part dot, part number. Uh, from all the line then you say right outer join part on or the line dot part number equal to part dot oh, part number okay there you go so you show everything that Actually, what's what's meant to show? It meant to show more than this. Hey, did I do wrong? Something wrong? It should not have a lot of. <laughs> it shouldn't have a lot of entry. Hey, is this something wrong? Select order number part dot part number from order line right outer join part on order line dot part number equal part dot part number. Is correct. The entry is correct, but it's way more entry than I thought. Literally the next number. Can I showcase more? Oh, I can showcase here. 30. 30. Run. Holy shit. There, there we go. It's only 18. Okay. Uh, as you can see, even number that uh, do not have a uh, order line part number, that means the part is not being ordered, will still be displayed as uh, under this query. So that is a right outer joint. So inner joint statement only include those rows that are present in both table, basically a normal wear clause. And left outer joint or right outer clause is row that do not match, but still will list them. Okay. So there is a lot of exercise, a lot, a lot of exercise. I'm going to do them after I restart everything. That means I have to close my OBS. I have to render an two hour long video oh my god okay my pc is so gonna cry after this well you, you're not gonna notice anything but I'll see you in like two hours okay i'm back so um 
I Jamal call it um forgot everything I wanna say. I restart my PC, I even stream my daily Honkai Star Rail. Uh I'm cooking up my dinner right now and I'm gonna you know the stove is on, I'm boiling my food, reheating my food by steaming. So I have twenty minutes of session, then I need to pause, eat, then come back. If I or I can finish it in twenty minutes, let's go. So here is the question. I need to run TD script, which I believe I should have, and I need to do this. Um, sorry. What the fuck did I try to do? So, using sub query only without product of any kind, list uh, list the name of each judge who has judged an event. Uh, at the show with an ID of zero one, so we need to first see what we have in our list. So we have select all from. I assume this judge. I should probably just look up. Uh, have a personal entry of. Uh, what the table content have. So I need to find the script that uses. So it is TT TD script TD script. There's also TD script new, which I do not know what's the difference. Gonna open up both. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not that was TT new. Uh, uh, TT new have. So I was I'm just gonna use normal TT. So uh, using a sub query uh, without product of any kind list the name of judge who has judged an ID at a show with an ID of one so we have select this all the available judge and this the available shows so we just want to see whoever judge at ID one so uh, to do that we need a uh, someone there's an intermediate that lead judge uh, um, and show ID together. So let me see which is the one. It's event. So with this, you can see event ID, show ID, and judge ID. With this, we can say select a uh, list of name of judge. So we just want a uh, judge name, which is just name. Um, from judge from judge uh, where where oh, how does how does sub career works in where event in and then here we need to say select event of uh, sorry select judge ID this is judge ID select judge ID uh, and this is also will be judge ID select judge ID from event where judge ID ID is in um, select show ID uh, from shows where show ID is equal to zero one so zero one have event of uh, have a judge of 1, 2, and 1. So only judges that's 1 and 2 should appear. Which should be Smith and Green. Hey? What? <laughs> it should be Smith and Green. Or like. Hold on, hold on. It should be. Because 
select all from judge we have 0 1 is Smith 0 2 is green and shows one sorry event yeah we we'll show idea of one with two judges okay okay some I I, I think I know why oh I think I know why I do this so that only the same judges that appear both time will only appear. This one need to be a, in the end clause. And where uh, show ID um in in select show id from shows where show id is equal to zero one i think this is how you meant to work missing expressions So that just ID from judge uh, from event. Is event not called judge ID? No, it is judge ID. Which is the same. Select judge ID from event. Close. And oh, I don't need a second where. I betcha. I betcha. I don't need a second where. Show ID is an invalid. Identifier what? <laughs> Why show ID is an invalid identifier? Oh, because it didn't say show ID where. And. From show ID. Okay, I need to look back. How the fuck do you do this? How do you do join sub query again? Okay, the answer. I I just gonna look at the answer. You know, I'm there's the answer. I'm just gonna look at it. How it does it? Oh, it doesn't even have end. Okay, so how you actually do it is that select name from judge where judge ID in select judge from event. Why did I not thought of this? <laughs> Just say where the show ID is equal to zero one. There we go. Oh my god. Okay. The amount of geniusness uh, I'm having is uh, pretty insane. Okay. Uh, I'll make this question one. Then we go to question two, which is. Okay, so using uh, sub query only without product of any kind, list the name of each judge who has judged an event at the Dobo show in 1995. Okay, so I'm going to go off from feeling. So select, list the name of judge, select name from judge where judge ID in. Why did I delete this? In uh, event, can't remember what's it, event. Uh, in sorry, in select judge ID from event where judge no where. What 
that I mean I can't remember I need to look back at the script again where event have show ID then I also need to say the show ID is connected to uh, what horses right oh, this is the wrong one um, hold on judge My god, my eyes, I cannot see. Event ID entry, it's not entry, it's not price, it should be judge event. Event doesn't show. Show, where's horse? Wait, I just realized, where's horse? There's horse ID. Somewhere need to accept horse ID. Who accept horse ID? I know you guys can't see it, but I'm looking at the script that built this entire HTML. Not HTML. <laughs> that in this entire uh, database. Okay, so it's from entry. Oh god, okay. And entry also only connect with event ID. Yeah, host only appear. Okay, so where where host ID in uh, select host ID from where is host? From no event doesn't have horse ID. Wait, wait, okay, no, horse ID select horse ID from where is horse? I can't find a horse there. Well, horse where horse ID from horse. Sorry, from from horse where horse name is Dubo. I assume it's way too big. No, scroll. God damn it! Scroll down. Okay, where horse ID character? No, what am I talking about? Where, where horse, where name, horse dot name equal to Dobby. Who the fuck is Dobby? There's no Dobby. Had a Dubo show in 1995. It's not horse. It's it's. What are you talking about? Or oh, what the fuck is this question asking about? It's literally event in 1995, which is what the show is. Isn't it just the same where show where show ID? Is equal to one, sorry zero one. Because show. Because only this two. Zero one. Shows ID. Are uh, the only one that is okay. I, 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 there's no reason to just I just show you. Select all from shows. Dubo in 1995 which is the one that oh wait no no it's one Dubo in 1995 so it's 01 which means whoever in show ID 01 is listed 
So this is not wrong. Let me see the answer. Should probably not talk so much and just see the answer. The answer is... Okay, 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 okay. You want to be more specific, so... You want to say where show ID in. So this is how I do it originally. Uh, select show underscore ID, even though I did it kind of wrong. From shows uh, where shows dot no, show name is equal to dubo and two character two char show uh, held so you change the date format um, equal to equal to so you change the number into a character and it is a year of nineteen ninety five. My brain was not working. My brain was not working. <laughs> there you go. It's literally the same. I just do the smarter way. <coughs> oh well. Using sub query, so okay. This is done. This question two done. Question three. Make sure my timer is actually running. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna check my food and I'll be back. Okay, so I turn off the stove and I'm gonna let my food cool down a bit so we can proceed with the third question. Uh, the third question is using sub query only uh, as usual without product of any kind list the event ID and event name um, list the event ID and event name for all event entry enter by star or flash and judge by Smith from Melbourne so Okay, let's go back to the script so I can see. Select list event ID and sorry, event ID and event name, uh, which is just called event name uh, from event where um, all event enter by star or flash. So, um, All enter by star or flash. Show ID in in select select show ID from. From what is what is a uh, shows ID from uh, where is show ID where is shows I know it shows from shows. Uh, No, 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 this show ID is from somewhere else that have the list of the horse. So... I'm gonna control F in here. Shows ID. Putting underscore will make it so that you can't able to search. But why? This is the only shows ID refer is in event. Uh, 
we don't need show ID. We need where. Okay, okay, I got it. Where horse name? Horse name. Also, if you guys are confused, like, why, why, why am I struggling to read this? Uh, let me show you what I'm dealing with. This. No, that's not that. Um. Hold on. Okay, this is what I'm dealing with. I guess you know what I can. Okay. Is this any better? I actually can't see that well on the monitor. So this is what I have been dealing with for the past hundred thousand learn year learn year. Okay, so so with this oh my god, now I can see my okay, okay, turn it this down. This is such a mess. So I'm trying to see horse name. I don't see where the fuck is horse. And horse all the way down here. There's horse. Okay, horse. No, I need to something need to link. I can't remember what it is. Um I can't remember how you does it. Um I can't remember you can just jump to another table or you have to link one in here. To another thing, so I thought, okay, let's do judge. So judge, okay, it's a simple one. Judge, okay, judge, uh, ID, um, in select judge ID from judge where judge name, sorry, just name. Was a judge. Uh, I'm having gastric hiccup. <laughs> His name, just in case, I put judge. Why the fuck? Judge dot name is equal to Smith capital Smith S uh, Smith and uh. Um, Address equal to uh, mail bond. Okay, I get this part, and then I think you have n. Um, Cause in event it doesn't have horse, so it must refer to show ID. So show ID what the fuck is show show ID it doesn't have anything so I need something to have event there go event with host I need entry so um and host ID in select host ID from entry where host ID in okay I put another in where host ID um uh, host so, sorry select host ID from I guess I can just skip the intermediate part and just go straight to Okay, let's try this. Let me learn. Let me learn. Where's horse? Horse is here. Horse uh from horse where horse dot name is equal to star 
shit. Is it like this? Or... What's the other person name? Flash. Why do you reckon this will work? Oh, I feel like this wouldn't work. Missing right parenthesis. Of where? This close. And... This... Close here. Here? Missing right parenthesis again. No, no, this is. This is here. And that is there. This is the whole. The fuck is this? In. And. In this. Missing right parenthesis on where? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm going insane. Oh my god, I'm going insane. Okay. Here. Is it this? Do I not meant to do this? Is this illegal? Invalid relation operator. How about I just use the word in? Again. Post ID is invalid identifier from entry. Right, see this is the issue. I want entry entry but entry only have event and horse. Oh wait they have horse. What? My brain is like oh what? There is horse ID. And horse ID. In select. We can remove all this, I assume. SQL command not properly ended. What command? And host ID in... And select host ID from host. Da -da -da -da, close, close. This one is. This one is this, right? This one is this, right? What the fuck is this then? Host ID invalid identifier. IDs? What? Okay, I'm looking at the answer. Fuck this shit. I need to eat, so I also gotta close this. This is very hard to see. So I'm gonna put this all the way back. Cool. This is actually I'm infuriated. <laughs> Why the fuck is the answer here? This. Okay. So select event ID, event name from event where. Hold on. So okay, okay. I did. I, I did the judge first. So judge ID in select judge ID from judge where judge name Smith and address Melbourne. So this is correct. Okay. So after he done this, he have um a an event ID. Event ID in select host ID from host where host dot na name in and this is correct. Shit. 
Charge ID is invalid identifier. Feel like this is. Why is it? Why is it indented here? What is going on? And what do you mean? Just I did what? Are you? Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste everything. Okay, okay, okay. Just gonna remove all this. Just gonna remove it. Okay. So, select event ID, event name from event where judge ID in. Select judge ID from judge where judge dot name equals Smith and address equal Melbourne. Okay, we close this, which is right here, we close it, okay, and horse ID, sorry, not horse ID, and event, oh, I missed out another one, hold on, okay, okay. event ID in select event ID from entries this is what I meant to do where host ID equals so I was thinking of doing this then I poke my brain just collapsed and I do not know how to does it anymore select host ID from host where host name in and you do put in in star um, flash okay what you mean judge ID is not an invalid is it not called judge ID did they put in the wrong one let me see line 4 1 2 3 4 Judge ID is the fucking thing in it. From judge where judge dot name is good as Smith. What's your issue? What's your issue? What? Invalid SQL statement. How is this invalid? And judge ID in select ID from judge. Okay, I'm gonna do this. What they fucking write, okay? Select event ID event name from event where event ID. From event ID. No, this is the second part. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna continue co copying in. Okay, select event ID from entry where host slash ID in select host slash ID. Um, from horse where um, horse sorry where uh, yeah, horse dot name in star flash close 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 and judge ID in select Judge ID from sorry from judge where judge uh sorry where yeah judge judge dot name equal to Smith and address equal to Mel Born. So if this work from keyword not found where expected, that means a from from event. Oh, the fuck! I didn't type this in. 
This is from entry. What? What? All I did was to take this, copy this. Paste this here. Replace this with a N. And replace this with a where. Will this work? Isn't this what I exactly what I did? Hold on. Select event ID, event ID, event name from event where? Judge ID in select judge ID from judge where judge dot name equals Smith. Okay, we close and event ID in select event ID from entry where wait why is entry twice here? Okay, okay, somehow that still works. Where? Host ID in select host ID from host where host dot name in star flash. What's the fucking issue? Oh I want to kill myself so bad. <laughs> I actually this my I'm going insane. I'm going insane. <laughs> can you not? Can you? Could, mm, so impatient right now. Okay, just calm down. What? The, mm. Okay, hold on. It's just me mistyping most likely. Horse underscore name does not exist. Of course, there's no such thing as horse underscore name because it's horse dot name. Ah, see. <sighs> Finally. Okay. Now let me look back at the script and how this actually works. So it went to event ID from event. So event of event ID and that event ID will also appear in entry. And there you can get host ID in select host ID. Okay. I'm gonna eat dinner. I started this at 10 o'clock in the morning. Like around 10.30 a.m. Okay, like the first part of the introduction. Um, it's very simple. I done it all quickly. Then I took a nap. Um, have a lecture class. For another two hour, then decide to you know take a play some TFT with my friend, and then I continue recording. Recording? No, I con then I started um, streaming Sario, came back after finishing our streaming Sario, came back and continue doing the question. And now it's nine p.m. We are barely done because there is. Let me tell you one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Might as well do it all right. Might as well do everything. You know why leave leave no stone unturned, as they say in Spain. So with that being said, why not uh, do the external question too? It's like be saying, what's this external question? What's this external question could be? Well, let me tell you. I have no idea actually. <laughs> I need to boot up the... It's an external, you know it's an external fucking question because there's a... I need to open up a Word PDF. Word PDF? Word document. To assess it. Let's see how many questions is in there. Shall we? Oh look! There is um. Additional three questions. Four technically. So, we have, oh, one, two, three, four, uh, da, 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 nope, one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 more questions. Let's go. Why not? Why not? You know, make this a 13 hour stream. Oh my god. Select all here. Comment out. I may actually not do everything. <laughs> I may not actually want to do everything. But this is what I get for procrastinating. We're not. Um, do it on the, the same day. This is all within the same week. This is all under one week. I didn't even do multiple weeks. This is actually all under one week. Why is this? This one is unique. It, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to comment it out anyways. So, for using sub queries only without product of any kind, list the name. I'm going to do it immediately. List the name uh, of each judge who does not live in Melbourne. Okay. Uh, from Judge, maybe this is easy, okay? Judge with DG, spell correctly, uh, where uh, name, no, sorry, who does not leave, address uh, not in uh, mailboard. Does this work? I don't check whether this at least work. Okay, good. So Smith, Smith does, oh there's another Smith, which is very confusing, <laughs> which is very confusing, uh, because there's another person also named Smith, uh, Smith uh, that live in Sydney, but it doesn't matter, and um, who has judged an event entered by a horse with a gender of S, which is I assume is sire, which means it's, it's male, so and enter the horse ha has judged an event so and um, judge ID in select judge ID from event where um, I do this with both. Go event ID. Event, I need to go in event ID from entry. By this one, I already start off with from event. Oh, God damn it. Where? So in event, so I need to say uh, where event ID in uh, select event ID from entry where horse I think I slowly getting uh, the formula where horse ID in select horse ID from horse that's not how it's spelled horse. I'm going insane. I'm slowly going insane. From horse, where horse. What characteristic is that the horse? Horse is. Uh, gender. Where, sorry, where gender is equal to S. Green. It, I, I, did I actually do it? Let me check. Select judge where judge address. Uh, sorry, where judge address. Oh, you can replace this. Okay, I probably already told this, but you can actually do this question mark. Huh, will you look at that? So you can actually use it as a shortcut as not in. Judge in select judge uh, event event ID from entry entry host ID gender SSSS. Okay, so I actually did it correctly. Okay, if I actually okay, I'm slowly picking up the pace. This may turn from thirteen hour to, uh, f you know, what the fuck happened? Thirteen hour to, what four hour? So number five. Repeat the previous question using only product. <laughs> Uh, so basically I actually have to do it. Oh shit. 
just the mo just when I thought I know how to do this. Only product, so select but host uh, no judge name. So select name uh from judge event entry and host where judge dot judge id sorry judge dot judge id equal to event dot judge id and event dot event id equals to entry dot event id and uh, if, uh sorry entry dot horse id equal to horse dot can spell dot dot horse id and horse dot gender is equal to s column ambiguously all right so this is judge hmm judge dot judge id equals to event dot event id equals to entry dot event id entry dot host id equals to oh i forgot to clear off my word and uh It's just address because it's not ambiguous. Address is not a uh, male born. Okay. Please be green. Please be green. Please be green. It's too green. Why is it too green? Oh, I need to use the keyword distinct. So apparently there is a uh, gonna be a duplicate for uh, some reason. So I need to put distinct. Okay. I. I don't remember using this thing all that much. Well, so this is number five. Okay, I somewhat I I mean I remember the core aspect of it. Cause I keep pressing the wrong button. I like, remember that core aspect of it. Um, just not the distinct part. Number six. For each part, uh, <laughs> god damn. <sighs> For each part. Uh, list the part number, description, order number, and number of unit order. Okay. Um, all parts should include in the final uh, in the result. For those that are part uh, that's currently not on order, the order and the number of order should leave blank. Order. Order the result by part number. This is, is this even? Oh, I'm copying the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry, this is, this is question six. Uh, this is the second part of question six. I mean, this is like a different exercise of question six. I'm like, what do you mean part number? I'm like, what? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the actual question six is this. <laughs> I'm like, the more I'm reading, I'm like, this is doesn't sound anything to do with Like, the first line is already doesn't sound anything to do with I'm like, maybe there's still something I can get out of it, but nope uh, Okay, so Number 6, list the name and idea for each horse Together with one of the following text uh, value as appropriate Alive or dead, sort by horse ID. Okay, list the name and ID of each horse. Select horse dot name, horse ID, alive. Alive 
What? I, okay, I'm gonna see the how how what's the naming scheme. I don't. I don't. Oh, it literally just say alive. Also, it's in single quote. I never understand when it, when you put single quote and when you don't put single quote. Okay, so select this. Okay. Okay, from um horse obviously, and sort by horse ID. So order by horse. ID um, where this one is about uh, unary where you refer to yourself so I need horse ID what's under horse again let me check horse 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 have name, color, sire them, born and die. Okay, well that's easy. Where died is not now. Is that how Wait, I'm checking the answer? Is it how you say it? is or oh, is is alive? If I want it alive, I want it is now. Right. Okay. 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 Where died is now. Die is now. Oh, this one utilize the union. It's not about sub career anymore. <laughs> okay, this one utilize union where I basically want another uh, another set where the horse is actually are alive. Uh, horse ID. Ah, this you put dead. I will never figure this out myself. From horse, uh, where. Died is not null. Oh, we look at it. Ah, that's neat. That's interesting. And the alive and dead are both in the same, huh? I wonder how they sorted that. I don't know, my brain is dead. My, my brain is actually losing steam. Actually, <laughs> let's just quickly do this. I s oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna. How long How long has it been? It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's already a. Oh my god. It's almost. A, because I stopped the recording of the previous part, so I don't know. I forgot how long it is, doctor. So it's, it's already m probably more than two hours. This is the last question. Guys? This is the fucking last question. I can I actually cannot go on with this. I'll continue the rest of it next time. Okay? I promise I'll continue next time. But just let me out of this hellscape. <laughs> just for once, let me out of this hellscape. Uh, why are you here? Are you always here? Huh. Anyways. Um, list the name of each horse together with the name with the number in which it has been awarded first place horse who never won a first place should also be listed with a count of zero sort into a descending order of number of win okay select the basic one is select name horse dot name Together with the number of event in which it has been awarded first place, uh, count. Oh, I I need to see uh, the record. Um, what's it under? Uh, where's first place? Price, right? If I remember, it's something about price. Price, yeah. Price is where you have place. So where price where count price count place sorry count count place it's just count place from 
I need horse. So from horse, how do I go to price? Ho a price have event ID. So horse to I'm gonna copy up here. What we have? I oh, know my. I should probably look at myself. So horse. Horse to entry. Okay, horse entry. Um, then price. Where? Um, where entry? Where? This is not a part of the question. Where? I can do this in sub query form. I think that's no problem, right? I'm gonna do like this. So where host ID in um, select host ID in, uh, sorry from entry where event ID in select event id from price where place is equal to one i'm not sure how to do this but this one what is place is a place is not a I don't know what place is. What? What? Two twenty-six. One two. Oh this thing. Not identifier. It's not identifying in count. In in horse. Because horse is not in that. I mean place is not in that. Okay, if I do this, it will just list out the horse name. Yeah, it should. It will just list out the host name, but this is all the host that won first place. Okay, okay, this is good. No, this is all the host have won first place. Union. All of this. Did not want first place. But that's gonna be everyone. How how do I make it so that the record is zero? I'm looking the answer. Okay, no no no, it just say count all okay this this so you meant to put here count uh all so yeah I should yeah count all makes sense count all as a number of win here will be grouped by Host name. Group by host name. No, 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 no. This will be. This will count how many horses there be. But it's still grouped by host name. No, that's what they did. And in here, they have. Oh, they say we only group by once. Oh, here we put in select zero. Okay, this is a, this is a lot of manipulation that I'm very confused. Okay, then we want to say host, where host 
ID not in, we can also do this. And then we can, then we order by number of wind descending. This, huh. Sorry, winds. Host name is invalid, right? Host name is not. It's not. It's a host group by host. Uh, host dot name. Curly block has incorrect number of result column. There's only two. <laughs> what? I don't need to go. There's a wait. There's a place in entry. Oh, there's a place in entry. I don't even know. I don't need even go deeper. There's a place in entry. There's literally a place in entry. Okay, no wonder their 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 one is so shorter. Okay, okay, okay. So here's what they write. Select host name, uh, count all as number of win from host. Um, they do it the product way, which is they go into entry, but this should work right where host ID in host ID from entry place equals to one. Then they group by host name. Oh, why? Why is this here? What the fuck? No wonder <laughs> it says confused. This is very interesting. Also, no, there should be more than this. There should be more than this. What? Hold on, I'm gonna do it. Uh, do it cop like copy them completely. So, uh, from host uh, entry where host dot host ID equal to entry dot host. Because I saw more, there has to be more than one, uh, there's more, there's more than two winner. Go to one. Do I put tier one? It should, it's a number, no? So it should, could, that could be the issue. That, that could be the issue. Ah, see? So if I comment this out and I say this is back in. Valid SQL statement. By place equal to one. That's correct. <coughs> Where let's see entry. Where's entry? Entry place. It's a corrector. Cha. No, it's a corrector. Wait, how does it work? Wait, why is this? What? This is what I did earlier then. And this doesn't feel right. How come entry and place equal to one? Entry place. Entry place is a corrector. Why can this work without the com, uh, without the quote? The, the question is, isn't it isn't. <clears throat> what? No, what? Huh? What? 
Why does it not work anymore? Oh. My brain, my brain, my 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 actual noggin is dying. I, I do not get it. If I put this at one, it's apparently gonna be wrong. No, it's the same. How is this the same? That's what I thought. This is another way. This is a way close. Which one is correct? How is this giving me a different result? It's gonna say it's crashed, right? How is flash come out twice? For fuck's sake, okay. Did Flash win twice? We need to go into a journey. Did Flash win twice or not? <laughs> We're going into a fucking journey. Did motherfucking Flash win twice or not? If I highlight all and then shift command. So I, I double command them. Okay, no, 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 no. This is a question we're gonna learn right now. Select all from entry we're gonna go one by one we're gonna, we're gonna solve this right now so 101 so let's see how many first place so there is 11 row there's one two three so that is correct this is correct sorry which one this is correct this one let me think let me think let me think why is this wrong why is this wrong why is this wrong why is this wrong, why is this wrong? Why is this wrong? Select ID, sorry, select host ID from entry where place equal to 1. Okay, if we do this, how many there is? Okay, I didn't know it also comment the. Whoop. Three. There's three host ID. Okay, then select. Fucking fly in the room. Okay, select. There's three house ID in the room. Then it goes uh in house ID. So select host name from host where host id is only contain these two it does not count how many there is like how many entry of huh this is a very unique thing that i feel like they should probably say because it says that it's basically saying This is what this one is basically saying. Where horse is either 101, 101, or uh, 102. This why it only show up twice. But this time we have to show everything. Okay, if we have to show everything, you cannot use sub -curry. Or you have to probably do something else with sub -curry. Okay. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense, that makes sense. For once, I submit my own failure and say we're done, we're done, I'm done, I'm done. This, this part, we're, we're not, we don't, I'm not going to, going to keep. We're done, this is, because the rest of the question is about, um, uh, about another script. So this one is all about the horse and the prize event and that's it. This is done, this is correct. Everything else, zero, okay? That's it. We are done. See you.
fucking tomorrow where I do networking. That's probably also gonna take two hours. <laughs>